Hello everybody and welcome to Pro Tips Chaos Dwarves. We're starting with yet another Chaos Dwarf mirror. Um, I've played a lot on stream, but I think this might be the, well, the first or second video I'll put on YouTube for Chaos Dwarves. What I'm going to do with this team, I'm going to stick out 20 games with them, whatever happens, um, as if I was in a league. At least 20 games. Got the standard start for a league, starting with Apothecary and two rerolls. I actually think in... In this environment, it probably would be better for me to start with three rerolls and only five blockers, just so I'd have that reliability, because I feel like the only way I can lose is by getting shafted by the dice um, against most people. Piper, I know the name Piper, maybe he's good. He's gone for exactly the same starting roster, so that's interesting. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know if this guy's a good coach. The name rings a bell, so, yeah, I'm just going to keep them whatever happens with this. So, there you go. <laughs> Okay, Crumsy. I'll see what I can do. So we'll have we'll have the Premiership and the we'll, what we'll do, we could have the we could have like the AFC West and the A, and we could have the A, the AFC and the NFC or something. We could do something. We'll see what it like. There's just loads of things can happen with legendary. With legendary, nah, it's not it's not the dice that decide a mirror rugby eighty two. Obviously, a thousand TV. The dice has a bigger impact than other ones. Um, especially with Chaos Dwarves, you know, with the Agility 2 and, um, you know, only 11 players. You'd like more players with with Chaos Dwarves. You'd like a dedicated ball carrier. Um, and there's, all, there's all sorts of things that can go wrong. Oh, and also, I'm not going to push for wins. Because before, when I was trying to qualify, I was, I was making teams to kind of try to qualify. I was pushing for wins and losing games. Um, now I'm just going to accept draws. And I'm going to keep the team, whatever happens. So yeah, that, that's 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 the kind of thing. And I will try to give pro tips, and I will try to not look at chat too much, um, because I find when I get salty in games, it's not really because of how the games go. It's because all of the stuff outside the game, which is what's going to make playing Kemri hard. Because what I don't like about Kemri is all the stuff outside of the game, i.e., why they've been brutally nerfed and stuff. Um, so. That might be a tough one, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to minimise the looking at chat and try to stay you know, stay away from all the forum and Reddit drama and everything and just stay focused on making making good plays like the Blood Bowl good man and be nice all the time as well. But always be nice. I'm always nice. Nicest guy in Blood Bowl. Try not to swear so much. And uh, just in general, be the Blood Bowl good man. There you go. Not get tilted off the face of the planet when people take four minutes a turn as well. Oh look, he's doing a disconnecting. Is this a strategy? I know the name Piper. He can't. He can't be that kind of person to do that, can he? Surely not. Surely he can't be just trying to make me concede by um, disconnect, d disconnect, trolling it set up. Um, <laughs> best of luck and good fun. <laughs> Oh, look at this! Isn't this great? Isn't this great? What a lovely opponent! If this is how it starts out, <laughs> I'll never be sold. Yeah, all right, there you go. Look, he's still there. I mean, at least he's there, even if he is disconnect griefing. At least he's there. <laughs> wow! I'm not going to be salty. B L G F. Oh man, disconnect, griefing, wow, wow, the things people will do to try to win games, eh? Do you reckon Grindle do nothing for 30 seconds, then disconnect, then reconnect? Then do nothing for 30 seconds, then disconnect, reconnect? Don't know, it's hard to tell, I mean, I guess Cyanide shouldn't have such a thing where they, you can reset the timer. I guess it's, it's Cyanide's fault. For, for that, that people can't abuse it, that you that you kind of think that people are doing it. You know, if it wasn't if it wasn't a possible exploit, then you wouldn't think think people would be trying to abuse it, would you? So um, yeah, maybe it was a shit connection. He seems to be here now. I did think it was odd because I, I do know the name. I think he's, I think he's a, I think he's a bit of a baller. I know the name. I, maybe he's in like, he could be in OCC or. Um, you know, UK BBL or something. So I w wouldn't think he'd be the type to disconnect grief. But you never know. You don't know. That's that's the problem with with um, with what happens, isn't it?
I usually wouldn't take a Minotaur on a Chaos Dwarf team. No, no. You can what? You can press exclamation point chaff for the uh, for the guide there. Where I talk about this sort of thing. Um, ah, hi. He's giving me. He's giving me a hobgoblin to blitz, which is good. I like his idea of putting the. Bulls on the wings here, quite close. Uh, means you can threaten the ball, can't you, potentially? I might have to pick up with a hobgob because of that, actually. Hmm. Interesting. This will have to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it is it's it's because it is an exploit that people have used. Like it shouldn't it shouldn't be an exploit that people can use, should it? But because it is, it ought, because it's possible, it automatically makes you think that that could be what they're doing, and it shouldn't even be a thing that could happen. But it is. Right, let's just block people. Two dice blocks with block. Hope that they can't one in thirty six. I mean, maybe I should have done some moves first. Like for instance, this this block, this blitz, in fact. Shit. Right. He can block there if this is a push, which would be a one in nine. I don't think I want him to. Though. I think I want him to come back. And. Cover the ball. And just like get stuff, I think. Get get guys around here. Cause I can't really stop him coming through down this side now. I mean I could, I could put these guys out, but then you can blitz my ball or blitz my hobgob. I'd rather not get my hobgoblins blitzed. So this 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 makes it a little bit difficult to blitz him. You'd have to assist with him, blitz with him, and then this guy's out on out. I don't know, even one further back. No, then he lets him through here. All right, and then go for the pickup with a bull. Because why not? Got quite a strong thing through here. I think put an extra guy out in front just in case. In case the pickup fails, it can go places, can't it? So I guess next turn I'll go for the Hobgoblin pickup. Yeah, we do need an emote with Fash. Fash guys, and that'd be good, wouldn't it? I'll get Fash to pose for me. Like he does for the, like he'd like them French girls. And then uh yeah, so he is doing that blitz. I thought he that's what he'd be doing. Gotta you gotta hit the hit the other bulls, haven't you, really? When there's minimal risk to it. Yeah, I thought I thought that's what he'd thought that's what he'd go for. But of course it means he's blitzing without block, which is nice. As he gets the both down result. Let making him do well, not making him do, but um but like encouraging him to make Blitzes with a one in nine chance of failure is quite good, isn't it? Better than, better than in blitzing with um, with his bulls, with his blockers even. What an outrageous! What an outrageous sneeze that was. Um. <laughs> That was crazy. Good, good. I muted just in time though, so that you didn't hear me blow my brains out. Holy shit! I have put the pressure on myself a bit now. I really need to make this um, this pickup now, and he's of of course he's just based everybody. 
because that is that is clearly the way to go about things, isn't it? On defense, I really have to make a pickup now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six over here. Block him, blitz him, block him would be nice. So this guy can block here first. Oh man. He goes there. It's just it's just that I've really got to make it, haven't I? I'm gonna to have to put somebody back in case it's a failure. He'd like to go in there to get another block there, so assist over there with somebody else. So maybe this guy. Guess. I guess I just can't. I can't afford him over there. He's going to have to come over here as well. If only I could have um, one deed him and then blitzed. Oh, I could have done. I could have. I could have one deed. No, I couldn't have done it. If the surface ball would have been amazing, wouldn't it? I, st I think I want to move him to there. Blitz his ball. Block him down. Bring this guy back. But that just means leaving the ball completely exposed on the one in nine. Which is just horrific, isn't it? It's absolutely horrific. Gotta do it. Lose the game one time in nine. Gotta do it. You know, this is the thing, you can't always just play 100% safe, can you? Right, good. So at the moment there, he can be blitzed by him if he GFIs. But you have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You'd have to make a 4 plus dodge. Hmm... I could GFI, and then he can't blitz me at least. Right, good. All right. See, there you go, the one in nine happens. Absolutely standard. Standard when I'm the one making the block. Um, but right, you can follow up there. That 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 puts his um, centre in a bad place, doesn't it? Very bad place for his centre. And this centre obviously ain't going to follow because he doesn't want to give up a free block, even if it's a one in nine chance of failure. And there's this there's, there's there's a decent amount of payoff to this one dicer, I think. Yeah. Because now this screen will remain intact, whatever happens. Um, I could make the 4 plus dodge to come out of here. But he's only getting knocked over 55% of the time by a block. I guess at least at this point, he'd have to make this block before he stands this guy up. And he'd have to get the knockdown and stuff. So I guess it's better to stay there. Hmm, tricky. Right, now I can have a look at chat when it's not my turn. Exciting. So it's a Hobbs 40k, yeah. Yeah, Hobbs are 40k. Yeah, I think they and the Skaven would love to swap. Yeah, drop and clang is. That's a good point. It's a good point. It would make the starting roster lose the uh, Apothecary. But you would have movement 7. Would be, would be a big deal on the Chaos Dwarf team. 
Oh, yeah, on his on his team. All of my guys are blue heads. His are the, his are the shitheads that aren't blue heads. All of mine are blue heads. I shit myself then when I thought when I asked because I saw one of them not having a blue head. I was like, what the fuck? But no, all my all my guys are the blue head, the blue head brigade. He's just got to stay down with his bull, hasn't he? That's all he can do. GFI, I'm surprised you would GFI rather than coming this way. Cost him a reroll or a turnover. Cost him a reroll. Not a turnover. Why didn't he just blitz this way? Interesting. Because he's not going to go anywhere afterwards. Oh, because he could push it, so he could push him to here, maybe. Mm. Wow, he went for the dodge. Interesting. Free, free armor roll and armor nine. Um is all right isn't it i mean i know i know i'm and it sounds it sounds like it wouldn't he's not going to break very often but still it's not bad is it i guess it's not that bad for him to as long as his armor doesn't break because now it's hard for me to push down that side um but i guess i'm not as overwhelmed over here anymore so i can go go 2d 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 and uh 1 2 3 4 yeah yeah okay Okay, so I need to make this block first. So that he doesn't get pushed into him. God, pal. Unbelievable, Jeff. Mm, maybe I should have think about doing a safe move first. <laughs> this isn't so good as well, is it? If I go back here, something like this. Safe moves being made for the benefit of the Fash Binder. So a decent screen, I think with them, these guys aren't real commander. Unlikely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no. So the only question is whether to move him for the assist, then try to blitz with him and assist. I think that's probably better. Because while I would hate a both down, um, <laughs> at least it didn't cost me a reroll. And I can clear him, or just one dice him. I think one dice him, if 55% knock him down and 50% knock him down, obviously more chance of a turnover this way. But um, the payoff's greater, isn't it, with the armor 7? Plus, he'd be basing two down players, which would be good. Uh -huh. No, not bad. Yeah, I mean, I could have, maybe I could have, yeah, maybe I could have shut down the bull dodging around, but um, I can always just do that later, you know, I can always just stick, you can always just stick a guy in a bull, like he, he, he left my bull free there that turn, and it's it's super easy for next to, you know, easy to just stick a hob on, on a bull, or a dwarf on a bull, and then they're immobile, aren't they, so, while I would have liked to have got someone back and him, like, you know, I would have loved to have got the power on him and then move him back, and then he assists the block and he keeps him pinned. Um, obviously, he could have done the same if he'd just got the if he'd got a push, he could have come back. But um, and that saved me a reroll, didn't it? There or a turnover, one of the two. Put a banging hob on it. <laughs> he's got. He's we're, we're both going for the hobgoblins quite a bit. He's clearly he's clearly played this game before, hasn't he? He's going for the hobs. He's going for the weak links. I've knocked over a couple of hobs already. But at least he's blitzing him with a non-block player again. So at least I've made two of his blitzes be with non- well, I haven't made them, he's chosen to make them. But I've encouraged it with my positioning for his blitzes to be with uh, non-block players.
It's just one chaff, not not S. Rochambeau. Did he just make a chess knight jump? I didn't. I didn't even. I wasn't even watching. Gotta be honest. Right. So what are we doing here? It does seem like I'm on the back foot all because he's just basing people. That's the thing, isn't it? It's good. I like maybe I should have kicked just so that I could be the one basing everybody. Um, but you see, I thought if I did that, you've obviously you've got a good chance to stop the touchdown if you do that. However, you've got a good chance of getting all you fucking guys banged down, which is not something, not something I particularly enjoy. Really like to get an assist over there somehow, but I don't really know how I could do it. Could get an assist in here. He can block him down. He can block him down. He can block him down, but then, so what? He would blitz, maybe? Hard to protect the ball, though, isn't it? Very difficult to protect the ball. He can want, He could stand up and he could 1D him. So I guess he stands up. And maybe he blitzes for the assist here. Mm, no. No. He comes in for the assist here. And he stands up first, just to make sure he's up. And then, if this is a one in nine, I guess I eat it. I guess I guess I have to eat a one in nine here. Um, he would definitely be able to get the ball, though. Well, he might not be able to get the ball. All right, no one in nine. Good. Oh, armor break! It's huge. It's big. It's huge. Alright, oh, that was a pretty good armor break, wasn't it? Um, still, I don't really want to move the ball around, but that that is big because it means I can go over there safely. I just can't afford to use the Mario with only two. Alright, got a power. Good lad. Like, he could blitz and then assist over there so he can make a 1D. But I think blitzing him and leaving him, leaving him a guy isolated is good. The only thing is, is Hobbs can come round now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. He can one D him. He could blitz and then come. I uh, know because he can block him him free. So it's I don't know. I think maybe they just go back a little bit. And go forward next to yeah. Unfortunately, not that isolated now, that guy. If I just come back there, I can make a 2D. Worth making two dice blocks, isn't it, I guess? I have, and I can make the three GFIs and make a 1D over there. Okay, that's better. I guess I should have moved him over here then. Alright. One D on a hob. Ah, fuck. Fucked it. Guess I should have just made that two dice, eh? Yeah, I like kicking. The thing is, though, is a Lash Saga. Both teams don't have high armor. Both teams have high armor and low armor. So if I if I mensed him like he's mensing me here, I could easily be down two or three hobgoblins like I was in the other game. Um, yes, yes, Pedro Jack, it is the first game of the pro tips. Well, I did do one pro one pro tips game, but then I deleted the team. So I'm, this one I'm definitely going to keep for the at least twenty games. I probably wouldn't take MA first and ascent. I'd probably go skills. Probably prioritize skills. Um, well, Beaver and Acid, there's a few. Unfortunately, the Kemri, the Kemri guide is not yet made. However, if you stay till the end of this game, I will show you. I will show you the lineups because ah, I guess I can say them, can't I? It's easy. It's easy enough. I don't need to think during my opponent's turn. Well, no, I do. No, no, I will. I will. I will not interact with chat so much. 
and I will try to concentrate on the game. So, um, yeah, if you wait, wait till after the game, then I'll show you. Because it is pretty hard to play. And, um, play well. It's hard to play well and, and reach out all the time and stuff. The bad thing is that now he's up. I shouldn't have gone back so far. I should have gone over here. Ah, but then look, with that, with that skull, it would have exposed the ball, so it's not so bad. It's, see, his Menzing's paying that off, which is bizarre. Wouldn't have paid off for me. So, like, I would if, I, if I'd really wanted to win, what I would have done was I would have kicked. And I would have manzed him. And I would have hoped that, that you know, that it would lead to victory. But, ah, oh, he's out of rerolls, that's good. That's good that he's out of rerolls already. Turn four, it's not that already, but he gets an arm, yet another armor break. Every time my hobgoblins get hit, they get they get oh, their armor broken. Um, that's what happened the other day, and it's happening now as well. But I mean, he's still going to get to two D him, still going to get to blitz him, keep him locked down. The only thing is, the movement six is going to have to be like a sideline effort, which could be fucking hairy. Maybe I moved him too far away. Obviously, a, power, a knockdown there would have been amazing instead of him making... Oh, he failed the That's good. So the fact that he's got... What? From this half of the pitch, he's got, like, four standing guys and a prone guy. And I've got all my players over here. So I think I have to, I have to push down this side now. At the risk of... Um, getting fucked on. I think I blitz this guy block him if I get the pow then it's great because I get to assist these two blocks and then it's all then it's all screened out pretty effectively okay so I guess I have to put him god this this guy's gonna like make two GFIs or some bollocks God, huge armor break. Death. <laughs> yes. So finally the hitting the hitting the armor seven pairs off for one of us. I mean he made he made some stuns. But um the death's huge, isn't it? Right, so if a GFI to here. And then to here. Then that's pretty good. And I guess I have to do it now because I have to be able to re-roll. Otherwise, he can, he can cancel the assist here and he can blitz him and get base the ball. But then I guess I can just block him off. I have to make one. I have to make one GFI. 100% have to make one GFI. So I'll just do that. <laughs> hey. Hey. Standard. Alright. So now I have to stand him, him up first in case this is a both down or a double scope. Gets this 2D. I'd really like this to not be a both down. <laughs> or a double score, obviously. So that was nearly a good turn. Nearly a good turn, but obviously out of rerolls absolutely sucks on offense. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the GFIing was just was just purely on um, was purely to count the squares. So now, if I score, and you see now, like even if he stops me, okay, and if he stops me, he's he's on ten, which is all right. But if he if he stops me and he starts the second half with nine players, then he's he's kind of got a chance to lose one nil. Where so that's why I, that's why I do like receiving because at least you know you've got eleven players for your offensive drive. Yeah, friends, frenzy balls are good, but you oh, they, yeah, frenzy balls are good, but you need block and everything as well. <laughs> Thanks, Kano. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I worked out how to get it on this time. 
but it's pretty random being able to get the camera on, unfortunately. So you can't really get the men the men in to get the assist on here. And even if he does, I could just simply stand him up and block him away with my ball. So Wow, I've got a lot of players over here. That isn't good. Maybe he blitzes to get Yes, he's gonna make this GFI. But I mean I can cancel his assist and I can just block block him block him with my guy. So that, that should be no problem really. The old, the old basing the ball. Oh, he won in nine, so he doesn't even get to base the ball. Unlucky. Right. So let's stand him up first. Hmm. He can block him. So now it's really safe moves first now, isn't it? Now it's really fucking safe moves first. Because the last thing you want to do is uh is is fail when you've got no rerolls so it's all about minimizing risk to the fat amount i guess i have to stand this guy up he has to come here Now he could block him, then he could blitz him and go one, two, three, four. I think that's good. So whatever happens, this guy's gonna stand up. Right. Both down here would wouldn't be disaster, but it'd be bad. Alright, good. Just knock him away and keep him there because of the, the bull. Alright, good. So now now this opens up this blitz, doesn't it? Really want his bulls to be down. Oh shit. Right. Got the pal. Unbelievable, Jeff. Can I follow up? I think I would like him to be, I'd like him to be in contact though as well. It's stretching it a bit, it's tempting to blitz the bull and get men in. I think I think I want to maintain the like kind of double the double layered screen so I won't follow. Right, he can he can stay on him, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push my luck too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm an SVG purist. <laughs> yeah, bull going down is very funny. Very, very funny. Yeah, so he's got he's freed up his bull to run around and put some pressure on. I would I would have liked to have gone further downfield last turn. Really would have done. But um What can you do? Hope goblins are kind of in the wrong places, aren't they? Exactly, Overlordy. Should do. Oh, do you know what? Someone needs to dub the uh, the Akron and Stanley. Yeah, push. I oh, know push is good because he's hit from the right angle. So he's going to base the ball. He's going to. He's going to the fabled basing of the ball. Holy shit! Nah, but maybe a double basing of the ball. All right, now now this gets this gets messy if this isn't a power on him. But you know, hopefully it is. Right. So he stands up here. He's got the block there. He just needs to power this guy. All right, good. He can power him. Okay, no, he can't. But he's basing him, which is fine. Um, so now these guys can move out, can't they? But I just need to pow him. This is the this is the big one now. This needs to be a pow. This is huge. It's big. It's huge. Big hands. No pow. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unfucking believable. Really needed that pow. 
Okay, so now he just fucking runs. <laughs> and he's completely reliant on getting this bull, this this bull. Getting something happening here. Yep. So that he can get down here. And I guess I just go for this Hobgoblin dodge now. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so far. No, I kind of had to. Ah, fuck. Now nah, well, he's a three plus away to one dice him. Maybe I should have gone over here. Shit. <laughs> Look how he's touching the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Hessian. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't knock this guy down as well, could I? Because I had to. I had to use the blitz to free up the ball. Maybe I could have. Done, maybe I could have just. Uh, maybe I could have chained him away. He made his three plus. Now he's four plus to get it down, isn't he? Nice goals, good. Get banged on. Um, I could want. I could risk the one in thirty-six to hurt him. I can't get the surf of a bull. It's almost worth doing this block, I think. Almost. But I'll be, I just can't, can I? I just can't. I literally can't. There was a downfield potato, Jellio. Um, you know. No, shit, didn't, you didn't get to see the glorious animation of the Hobgoblin touchdown. Fuck. Fuck, sorry for skipping the animation. That could have been the first time you'd seen a Hobgoblin touchdown. And it's a glorious animation. Um, my apologies. Right, he could actually score a one-turner with... I did the pushes um, in one of my matches before. So, um, he, could, he could do a one-turner with this, but I guess he's not going to even try. And I'd rather him not be men down. And I guess the safest way to not be men down is by putting armor nine... Thick skull on the line, but you never know again. But it's good it's good that he's a man down anyway. It's gonna make his offence harder than mine was. <laughs> yeah, it was a perfect it, it, I didn't want it to be potato. I, I had a three two two to to seal it off and make it a non potato. But um That's the thing, against good against good opponents, you know, it's you can't always just always make the safe moves and stuff, can you? <laughs> Mind boggling. Hello, VIP Scouty. Um, you're on this team, I believe. There you go. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. Targeting Tantra. Maybe it's his, like, mum and dad. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it's, maybe it's Nethios is one of them, and he's like, oh yeah, good points. And like, Dodd's like. Maybe it's just Dodd and Ethios. Dodd's like, ah, I need to learn about Blood Bowl. I'm in a better mood today. Thank you, Berg787. Yeah, because now I've decided upon what I'm doing. I am just doing, you know, the, the pro tip series. Twenty, At least 20 games, come what may. Draws, I'll, I will play properly in that I will accept draws rather than try to push for stupid wins. I'm not bothered about qualifying for the for the champion ladder, you know, playoffs or anything. I'm just going to play the games, try to give good commentary. Yes, thank you, Bloodmaster X. Try to not read chat and get salty about things outside of Blood Bowl, like I very nearly did. Um, and yeah, just just try to just try to be the Blood Bowl good man. There you go. Could have made that a three dice, couldn't he? Could have made that a three dice there. Maybe he's just going for a massive foul. Which I'm okay if he does because I've got thick skull. And he's going to have decent odds to be sent off here. 
I mean, the payoff is huge for him if he gets the if he gets the cars. Well, I'll just up all the cars. So really, he's got to hope for a. He's got to hope for a. Um, he's got to hope for a, a miss next game or better that the apple fails on, and he doesn't get sent off. But I mean, if he just gets sent off here, he's he's down to nine players on his offense, which is terrible, isn't it? It's just, it's just, it's just banter, Sir Ironclad. There's no hate. There's no hate. It's just banter. It's just banter. It really is just banter. Yeah, I started with the apple, so we, we've both got an apple. He used his. I can't remember him using it. Did he use it on the death? Did he fail his apple on the death? Wow. Stunned. Thick skull. Foul thick skull. Foul thick skull. Yeah, that was, that was a bad foul in my opinion. I didn't, I, you know, that could have, that foul could have easily lost him the game. If he's starting with one Hobgoblin with nine players, second half, I'm going to apple any Kaz he makes. He would have to get a, he would get, he would have to get a KO against, against Thick Skull, and the, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't apple that, probably, and then the KO to stay out. So it was, he was terrible odds, absolutely terrible odds. Somebody could math it. Oh, the apple was dead into dead. Someone could someone could um, get Squirrel Dude's thing there and, and or or just manually map it out. But I mean, he was very low odds to um, get anything good happen then. Very very low odds for anything good to happen for, from any good to come from that. And yeah, it was strange that he wasn't rewarded. Yeah, it was it was strangely not rewarded <laughs> because a lot of a lot of the time those things work out, don't they? Because people do it a lot, you know. <laughs> But on the balance of probabilities, they shouldn't work out, should they? Right. Remember to save the setup. Pretty important. However, I don't have an existing setup. Do you have like how does that even work? It's the first time I've ever saved a setup for this team. So he went exposing his bulls to put them on the sides, which is which was a fair comment actually. He was really high on the line. Get his bulls in the backfield. It was a good shout, I think. But I'm going to go for the more the safer route of um. No, I, mean, I might put them at the sides actually. Yeah, and then they can still, they can still put some pressure on, but it's it's not so easy to get the pressure on. But then also, it's not so easy for them to get hurt, is it? And put the guy on two in the safe spot. These probably aren't even overwriting because cyanide, but there you go. Right, will this save? I'm sure it won't save, but never mind. I mean, that's what I'd like in. In, in Legendary Edition, saving setups to actually work. <laughs> and even then, yeah, exactly, even a KO then might have been worth up on there. It might have been Pedro Jack to avoid the 50 50 of not coming back. I, might, I may have upholed a KO, in which case the foul was absolute garbage. Um, yeah, I think he had about six assists, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, six assists. Yeah, six assists, but, some, but Master X. Six assists. And he knew I was going to apple any Kaz. And he knew that I might apple a KO. Really? I've had infinite problems with saving my setups, I don't know, Kallus. Infinite problems. Right, I'm going to go and put the light on because my green screen's struggling a little bit. I'll be right back. Holy shit, call the cops. A player was hit, hit by throw a rock and it wasn't one of mine. It was stunned though. I've noticed that, that when, when my opponents get hit by rocks, it's it's usually stunned. But um But you know, never mind. I'm not bit I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter that mine are always deaths. Well, often deaths. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so there you go. So fifteen percent chance for the cars. Which, what's the chance of it? What's so? What's the chance of the cars? What's the chance of the cars sticking? But Master X. There you go. What's the chance of the cars sticking? So seven and a half percent of the time it's a badly hurt, so it automatically works. Um, and then I apple the other seven and a half percent, which would work half of the time. So it only. It only works like 3.75% of the chance. It's a 3.75% chance. 
chance of a Kaz. <laughs> which is um which is not much, is it? <laughs> so yeah, I think he um I think it was a very bad foul. 3.75% chance of a Kaz and 25% chance of a send-off. Yeah, I think that was bad. And that was a very bad foul. And he and you know, like obviously he only gets he only gets sent off 25% of the time, which isn't that much, but I think it was a bad move still. Is he going for the quick score here? I know I'm going for this block and potentially this block as well. Go there in case I get the push so that he's not he's not based. Um, if it is just a push, obviously stand these guys up. Safe moves first. And stick a bull in there, maybe. All right. Yeah, that's that's very true. I don't think that happens to me too. Right. So now because I've got the power, can put them, can put him in two TZs. Hmm. I could have maybe even gone around and pressured the ball a little bit, but it's not my style really. If I put a bull in there, two assists, and then he can block him down, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I could have gone for the ball. Oh, no, because he was there. And plus his strength four anyway. It, uh, it's P and 9, they made the pick up first time, isn't it? I could actually make a foul here. I could put him in there, block him. And if it's a knockdown, I could make a four assist foul. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Oh, I wouldn't really want to make both. Both down, didn't I? Probably. Right. Hard for hard for his bolt to do anything there, though, isn't it? Hard for him to do anything. Hard for these guys to do anything, really. He could stand up. He could come in over there. And then um, he could two deep down the line. He could go there to stop that. But then he'd be isolated himself, which isn't so good. I think I want him back, ready to react. Maybe just put him here. Oh, here, then that stops the that stops the assist there, which is good, isn't it? Yeah, okay, let's put him up there. Yeah, centre removal would it would would absolutely inevitably be huge. Yeah. But um. It would be huge. It would be massive. It would. It was almost worth it as well, wasn't it? With a four assist, a four assist would would be would be really good because then the KO, even a stun, sent off for a stun, wouldn't be that bad because he was in a bit of a bad spot. But um, we'll see what he does. Makes the one dicer. Interesting. But he, he use it means he doesn't get a knock one. He doesn't get a two D down the line because he's done that. I could still maybe free up. No, I can't free up him. I mean, even if I get to him to score here, then it's good, isn't it? But I'd rather I'd rather he didn't score. <laughs> now that I've got him in this kind of tight spot, I'd rather he didn't score now. So he's just making the blitz, but he's not moving anywhere, is he? Interesting. I might be able to get two dice on the ball here. I'm trying to work it out in my head now. This guy blocks him down. He comes in. He blocks him down then. Then he blocks him. Follows up. These two are then free to two dice the ball. So. It's possible. It's very possible. But it just needs powers. It, need, it needs powers all along. All along the watchtower. 
is what it needs. Needs some needs some pals, but it's it's eminently possible to get 2D on the ball here. Right. It's so the first what the first piece of the puzzle, well, is this guy standing up? Safe moves first. Fash loving it. Right, this block here. Unbelievable. Straight in. Straight in to having to use a reroll. And then not getting the power as well. Shit. Right. Double shit. Right, he can block him now. Get him in for a blitz on him, maybe. really annoying. Shit. He could block, then he could go 1, 2, 3, 4, GFI to block him. So he can go there first. This is a bit, this is a bit ropey now after, after failing that. Pretty sad. Roll one the GFI. He's pro he'll probably have to score though, I think. But then he probably will score. And then I've got three, six turns to score with one reroll, which isn't ideal, is it? No, no more removals, no. Just that death. Might be a death here, though. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so Apo obviously fails effectively. There you go. Try to stop the touchdown. <laughs> you know, my, my, my block is a 1 in 9 in having to use a reroll. His block makes a Kaz. Shit. But yeah, six six turns to score isn't so bad. But that was that was kind of annoying, wasn't it? Yeah, he had to score then, Jaleel. He did have to score. It's just shit that I had to use the reroll on that turn. If I hadn't used the reroll that turn, he could stall easily. So I still think I made the right plays. But um, it was just it was just too easy for him. Easy win, not so much actually. What with one with one reroll. He still got, you know, it's ten versus ten. He still got both bulls on defense. Uh, you know, again, I'll have to try to pick up with a bull. And his style is to go all men's and put um, put a lot of pressure on. It's tough, very tough. I, I would much prefer it if he if he had one reroll and I had two. I'd fancy my I'd fancy my chances, but um, with him not having that, I don't fancy my chances so. All right, you bless my dice. Okay, thank you, Nose Dice. <laughs> thank you, Nose Dice. I can't lose then if Moldips, if Moldipster, if 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 Nose Dice has blessed my dice, then it's all good, isn't it? Right, he blocks him, then he goes and bases this shithead, and then no, oh, if he gets if he gets a blitz, I'm fucked. That's the only bad thing about the getting the two D over there. I guess these could just block ahead. Which would mean he could come over there. And he could go there. And he blocks, he blocks, he blocks. 2D him. And then he bases him. And he comes back. Because obviously only, only somebody who was bad at Blood Bowl would mean... Would set up in such a way that if your opponent got a blitz, you would instantly lose and have to concede on turn one. That wouldn't be a pro tip. The pro tip is to guard against things that fuck you, isn't it? And unfortunately, perfect defense here is going to be absolutely brutal. Um, so I guess I put one back in case of perfect defense. And now, 
it's kind of set up to handle the perfect defense would still be bad obviously as he just mends me here and means I can't make any any safe blocks but at least I'd have five players not based six players not based right the mole issue <laughs> Hello, Sledger. Yes, common sense prevailed in in the mold of which was which was nice to see from Sinai <laughs> and their their admin team. No, oh, this is going to be a tough tough score. Quick snap. Mm. Oh wow! Oh no! Shit! It's a perfect kick. Fuck. It's like, oh, it might be a touchback. No, there's no chance of a touchback. Oh, shit. That's really, what a horrible, perfect kick for him. Absolutely horrible. Right, and no rerolls possible either. So. so let's go with this one then. Fucking brilliant, eh? Get the fucking push. Can't re-roll this. It's a one in thirty. If it's a one in thirty-six, I just get banged on. Nothing I can really do about it. Is it worth basing him? He's just so fast. I almost have to base him. If I double base him, then obviously it dictates where he blitzes, but at least he can't put pressure on. He can blitz there and get through this way, though. So he has to come up here to stop him getting through. And he has to, like, come back a little bit. In case, in case the pickup fails and I've got to go for a... Got to go for a safer... But he can come back all the way in case I've got to go for a safer pickup. I gotta make these blocks even though I can't re-roll them if they're double skulls. Mm. This is pretty horrible now, I think. Just need to make the 50-50. Nah, <laughs> roll a one. <laughs> roll a one, mate. Roll a fucking one. I don't know, common sense and maths are two different worlds. I don't know about that slipping Jimmy. I think uh I think maths is usually pretty commonsensical. <laughs> yeah, easy. Easy. Oh man. No oh, man, feels bad man. <laughs> now I just fail the pick up, he one dices me, picks it up and scores. <laughs> that's what I that's what I feel happening. <laughs> The good thing is he can't crack that line because of him being there. I think the hobgob has to go base him. I have to pick up with a with a bull because it's going to be too easy for him to just make a four plus dodge and get a two dice on the hobgob than if I pick up with a hobgob. So I can't pick up with a hobgob. Got four players free to swing round, which is good. You can't stop him being able to move unless he gets the power here. Which would be fucking disgusting. I can't really blitz him anyway, so it's not so bad. No, so he's gone all in on going this way. That that's okay actually. That's okay. That's actually all right. Okay. So the first thing is this. He can now bang down these two guys as well. He can even blitz this his bull. Want to make this knock down as well if possible. Yeah, good lad. Because now he can come there. He can come in to assist there. 
to get this 2D. He can stay out his cover a little bit. He can make the assist. The bad thing is, of course, that it's super easy for him to base him. I could actually GFI, I guess. Where's he going to go there? I could GFI back one, but then he can still base me. I'd have to GFI back twice to have this screen. Is that worth it? Two GFIs? No, there's no screen. He's got to stay where he is. Fuck, that's not a screen. Derp of the world. So he has to stay where he is. Have to make this block now. Bang down the line. Always good to bang down the line, isn't it? And then right, all down this pickup. Can I re-roll it? Should I do I have to re-roll it? He just GFIs to base him. GFIs twice. Then he four pluses out. I couldn't actually hit him. And he couldn't score. I really want to pick it up. I just don't know if I can play the rest of the half without a re-roll. You can put a lot of pressure on. This guy can come down here. These two can both double base him. But I guess I've, if they double base him, then at least he's not based. So I guess I can't afford the reroll, but I really fucking want to do it. Fucking three. Maybe I should have rerolled it then, because it is turn 12. But 13, I have to, I have to pick up third, turn 13. Absolutely have to pick up turn 13 and get fucking moving. I think maybe I had to reroll that turn. I actually think maybe I had to. Just looking at the turn counter, I think maybe I had to reroll that turn. Because now he's getting. Oh, yes, he's, he's done the right play and he's getting him on the ball. He's getting three tackle zones potentially on the ball. I think I probably should have rerolled. I should have thought about it for longer instead of just going, no, I won't. Yeah, I think I probably should have rerolled. I really do think I should have done because if I if I if I pick it up I'm over here. And even with no rerolls left, I've got GFIs and I am just basically out. I'm basically free if I'm I'm home and free if I pick it up there. Obviously I didn't want to fucking have to reroll it, but maybe I did have to. Because now I've got no chance of picking it up. He's got three TZs. Yeah, I had to I had to reroll it there. So there you go, pro tip. Pro tip, turn off chat. <laughs> And don't be influenced. Um, yeah, I, I had to. I had to make that pick up because he's, just basing me is good enough to stop me doing anything. I had to re-roll that. Absolutely had to re-roll it. Oh. Okay, lucky, lucky, lucky by me there. Very lucky for me. Very incredibly lucky. Um, Okay, so he goes there, so he can 2D him, he can 2D him. He goes, he's stunned as well. Oh my, not that that really matters. Where does the blitz come? He blocks him, he blocks him. He blitzes him and then assists this block. <gasps> Should have moved him forward. Uh, I don't know, three turns is not so bad. He can still score. He can still score this whole goblin. All is not yet lost. If I blitz him, then I can double base these hobs, which is nice, isn't it? Or I could just blitz... Block him, block him, and then blitz him, and then assist that, and then get all of his... His warriors don't really matter now, though. What matters is the hops, isn't it? So, yeah, I think blitz here. And just get his... Get his hops taken up. No oh, fuck. Now we can just block them free. Oh. 
I could dodge away from his ball. Right, go, I've got to reroll now anyway. Okay, don't have to reroll. That can only base. If he goes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, almost in scoring range. I should really have made this block first, so know if I had to GFI. I go here at least. He can block him down. And then he can go GFI there. So I don't want to make GFIs, it don't, don't matter. Both down it. Yeah, I can do actually. Fuck it. Both down on no balls. Oh my god, it's done. Alright, that was pretty lucky. <laughs> pretty lucky, some, some pretty lucky turns there. Unbelievable that you feel this. But this is good for the Bulls of Movement 9 crowd anyway. Right, so two GFIs to score from the Bull. But, um. And you can still go either way at this point, can't you? And he can't be based by blockers. He can come out and. These. Oh, God. He's left in the dust now, this piece of shit. And this piece of shit as well, almost. So oh, that's almost the balls out of the play. So maybe I could have... Uh, if I'd done the blitz that I was thinking, but then the, the hop bombs would have been free. And the good thing is, at least at least these guys have blocks that don't necessarily go down. Yeah, I don't even have to go down this side. I can go down this side, can't I? him. How far could he get to? One, two, three, one, two, three. So I would like to get away from him. I would like, I would rather go this way, to be honest. Just, just for the bulls. The bull's the bull having to go across the pitch. One, two, three, one, two, three. It'd be so much easier to just go over there and then you can't reach ever. He is committing heavily to this side as well, isn't he? Alright, so I think it's definitely go over this this way then. Especially if I've got this guy free too. It just means I've got to do all my GFIs at once. <laughs> right. Okay, so this guy can go here, so he can block him. I've got block, you don't. Right, if the ball gets to here, which it actually has to, he could go there, I guess. I don't even need to blitz this guy. Don't need to do anything over there. So, he could make one GFI. He could come up there, he could come up there as well. Got to make some GFIs. Got to make at least two. Oh shit! Sure, feet's gone. So I guess I don't make the second GFI. He goes over here. He can't base anybody. Um, Fee one dices and gets the pow. It's good, but then if he gets a skull, it's bad because he can GFI. So I guess all these guys are at risk of leaving, freeing up 
chorf blockers if they fuck up. I mean, he can base him anyway, so he actually didn't... It didn't even matter if he made the extra two GFRs, because he could still base him, potentially, anyway. No, I right, fuck it. Good enough. Good enough for me. Whew. It's scary, though, isn't it? The good thing is, every turn that he's not that close... Like, if I... If he bases the ball with him... And then gets knocked down. He's out of the he's out of the game then, isn't he? Push no good. Push no good for him really, is it? He can't base the ball. I'm surprised I, I would have re-rolled that if I was him, if that if that was my intention was to If his intention was to base it, I think he should re-roll there. Because now if I make the GFIs he can't even base them. Yeah, unfortunately, with him getting the push, it frees up two guys. But I, so I was thinking about I was thinking about one dicing him, so that then, you know, if a pal, then he'd have to use all these guys to deal with them. Maybe it was worth it. Maybe that maybe that one dice was worth it. Even a push, it would have, it would have. You could have only freed up one dwarf instead of two. Need to make this. Oh, need this needs to not be an armor break. Crucial if this is a stun. No, good. So he can still 2D him, hopefully, pal him. Then there's a hobgoblin free. Alright. And he can be freed up. Right. So put him there. This is huge. Got him. Haha, I've got block, you don't, as Canal would say. <laughs> if he goes nine, he's free from being based by him. Which is perfect. He could blitz him and base the other one. And But I think the biggest thing is him making a block here for a push. Yeah. So that he gets into base there. And knock him down. Right, into no follow so that this goblin can come through. To sandwich these two guys. After he makes the blitz. So he now he can make the blitz there and get him down. And then it's very hard for him to very hard from indeed to, to get the ball. But before that I need to make the GFIs as many as I can. Oh no! Oh fuck no! One, two, three, four, five, six. He's in scoring range, but now it means he could blitz and base him. He can't do anything. This stun is pretty big though. I guess being base, he blitzes and he bases. But it's just not that bad, is it? In fact, he might not even be able to base depending on where this guy goes. So he can block him down, and then all he can do is minus 2D, 2D me, or if I GFI into here. See, at the moment, he's stopping him being based next turn, isn't he? Would I rather be based or would I rather be minus 2 d by block? I guess I'd rather be based than minus 2 d by block. So I go here. Right. I think that's right. Oh! <laughs> he just goes... He just goes for the 6 plus dodge. <laughs> and makes it. Oh my god. All that thinking. <laughs> All that thinking on my turn. And he's just bam. Bam, 6 plus dodge. <laughs> Fucking hell. 5 plus 4 plus would have been better as well, wouldn't it? Because, um...
5 plus 4 plus would have been better because he had the reroll. I'm pretty sure. Right. Also, he could have pushed me back as well. Four, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Be sad if I don't score now. Three D. Just a push. Got him. I didn't need that rear in the end then. I do think I should have picked it up that turn though. Just because I was basically home and dry once it was up, wasn't it? Right. Phew. GG. Fucking hell. Glad I won that. Right, now I can put my now I can put my second monitor on and see. See what's happening. I think this is the best way for me to stream to be honest, just to completely ignore chat. <sighs> <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Adonte Kellis. VIP, Adonte Kellis. Right. He's just giving Jimmy's life. Um. Right. That was a good win, wasn't it? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Thank you, Beaver on Acid. <laughs> Kurgo. VIP Kurgo. Thank you, Grindel. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a tough game, wasn't it? That was a lot of thinking. It's funny that I was doing all that thinking, talking through what I'm thinking, and he's just like YOLO, six plus dodge. But I do think, even even though he was just YOLOing the six plus, even though he was YOLOing the six plus, I do think it would be better to do a five plus four plus, because it comes out with the same odds, but it, with a reroll, I think it was definitely better to do a five plus four plus. Also, it would have been hitting from a better angle, so the push would have made me GFI. Um, that he got, but you know. So, oh wow, the Kurgol got the Kaz and the MVP. Amazing, twice as many heavy breaks. I did think I focused Hobgoblins more than him, but obviously I was a man up for a lot of the game, and um, yeah, got out blocked him. Pretty good. Forced the early score. I'd actually rather I'd rather have Mighty Blow first and Claw second, because I think Mighty Blow by itself is better than Claw by itself. Um, so. I don't mind going Mighty Blow first. I nearly fired instead of back there. I've never fired somebody instead of leveling them, but I, I could have fired instead of going back. That would have been pretty funny. Um, obviously, I keep the 80k, saving up for the third reroll. The Journeyman Hobgoblin is fine um, for the next match. So, yeah, just save and hopefully get 60k next match and get the get that third reroll instantly would be good. And then eventually, I'd, I want to go up like 12, 12, 12 Hobgoblins, 12 players as soon as possible. And then eventually up to 13 or 14, just so they can, you know, hobgoblins die pretty easily, and you want to be able to foul too. Um, so yeah, that was that was a nice match there. It was a good hard match. Pretty interesting. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.